nous avons tous une, une vision très différente. Nous avons une vision très différente de l'exploitation marine et de l'exploitation. Les pêcheurs veulent pêcher beaucoup de pêcheurs valables. Les consommateurs veulent avoir des pêcheurs de pêcheurs. Fish, but very fresh and high quality fish to eat. Tourists want to be able to fish big fishes, or they want to be able to watch the sea and admire whales. And conservationists want to conserve some species which they believe to be endangered in our oceans. But we need a vision, we need a long term vision, and the ecosystemic approach of fisheries is a long term vision which is shared. The creation of a shared vision is a vision for a sustainable society, a desirable society, generating prosperity and well-being, although it is aware of the constraints of the evolution of the marine ecosystem due to climatic changes. But the vision must be fair, equitable for all of, you, of mankind. But now what is new in the ecosystemic approach is also that it should be fair for all the other species, animal species and future generations. The objective of the ecosystemic approach is that fisheries should be sustainable in uh, marine ecosystems in good health and uh, in a capacity to be productive, which means we have to avoid degradation of ecosystems and habitats for instance, dragged nets to catch fish at the bottom of the ocean are a kind of uh, technique for fishing which damages the benthic habitats, the deep habitat at the bottom of the sea. There is a danger. We must mitigate the risk of irreversible changes. Ecosystems can be productive, but if we change them, they become, they may become improductive and only uh, produce uh, jellyfish. We also must uh, obtain and maintain ecosystemic benefits, and one of the main benefits we derive from the oceans are the catches. There are always uh, almost 100 million tons of proteins uh, derived from fish I caught every year. There is um, an economic stake here, but we must uh, produce uh, sufficient knowledge to better understand and assess the changes in the ecosystems in the future. I hope you have understood by now that the ecosystemic approach uh, has three main objectives, maintaining biodiversity, avoiding that uh, species are endangered, and end up being wiped out of the ecosystem, maintaining high catch levels so that uh, fishermen uh, remain in employment and at the same time that we can uh, maintain the right level of catch. The emergence of uh, uh, this new concept, the ecosystemic approach, is something that took a lot of time and there were many international discussions in the United Nations, for instance. It all started with the uh, Convention on, and the Law of the Sea in 1992. People discussed uh, consideration on the impact of uh, land organization uh, or organization policies on the marine ecosystems. The FAO started putting on the forefront of the discussion thoughts about a uh, responsible, responsible way of uh, fishing when fishing targeted the species such as cods or anchovies or sardines, but also the impact that this could have on other species such as uh, sea mammals or sea birds. The Reykjavik Declaration formally implemented the ecosystemic approach and it incorporated ecosystemic considerations in the way fisheries were organized and managed. Finally, in 2002, during the Johannesburg Declaration and the World uh, Summit on uh, Sustainable Development, an agenda was released with a number of deadlines, 2020, before which the ecosystemic approach should have been implemented. Now, all states have the duty to implement the ecosystemic approach in order to manage marine resources. In Europe, 
particularité internationale. We have something very specific. The implementation of the framework directive for European Marine Strategy, DCSMM, 2008. Europe has defined a good health status of marine ecosystems and oceans and seas. Pour cela, elle a défini for this, uh, 11, descriptors, 11 uh, markers have been, been defined in order to follow and monitor the health status of oceans and seas. It's a bit like when you have a blood sample taken to uh, do a medical checkup. There are 11 markers describing indicators going from biodiversity through to contaminating uh, agents and habitats, but also the uh, way marine ecosystems operate. Each of the 11 describing markers contain indicators which help define whether a given ecosystem is in good health or not. This is a static vision, but in the meantime, we also have defined a strategy, an international strategy. It is of the utmost importance. It is based on the IPBES, an intergovernmental platform on biodiversity and ecosystemic services. All countries have joined forces to uh, bring together experts, knowledge, all the knowledge we have on uh, marine ecosystems in order to prepare prospective scenarios, uh, trying to understand what will become of our oceans in 20, 30, 40 years' time in the context of global change. This is an integrated, uh, multidisciplinary vision It will help us better understand the future constraints that our ecosystems, marine ecosystems, are going to be submitted to, and also to come up with all the scenarios uh, that will help our decision makers uh, take the right decisions for the organization and the exploitation of uh, marine resources. This is a dynamic approach which is of the utmost importance on the international level. Ecosystemic approach of fisheries. It is the first vision in mankind in our societies where we're trying to reconcile two things that we thought could not be reconciled, conservation and exploitation. Conservation has its own objectives, exploitation has its own different obje objectives, and today with an ecosystemic approach of fisheries, we are endeavoring to reconcile mankind with nature, with ecosystems and the way they function, and this long-term vision, as we said, as we have witnessed, will allow us to maintain biodiversity, but also to maintain uh, viable fisheries in healthy ecosystems.